Hello, dear Phasmatic friends! Today we are going to learn the equalization method for solving systems of linear equations. Follow me, please. First of all, we see that we have a linear system of equations with two unknowns, and we have to remember that it is very important to have x, y, and the independent terms aligned. After that, we have to remember that when we solve a system of equations, we need to find only one value for x, only one value for y, and when we replace those values here, both equations will be true at the same time. After that, we can start. Three simple steps. First of all, we are going to isolate the same letter in the first equation and in the second equation. That is, if I isolate x here, I will isolate x also here. But if I decide to isolate y here, I will also isolate y in the other equation. Well, I, I decide to isolate y in the first equation. So, we write step 1. Isolate, in this case, y in our first equation. So, if I isolate y, I will pass 2x to the other side as a negative 2x. So we have y is equal to negative 2x. And after that we are going also to isolate the same letter, the same unknown, in the second equation. In this case I decided to isolate y. Then I isolate y here I will pass the x to the other side, negative 2y is equal to 1 minus x. And after that, I will pass the negative 2 to the other side, dividing, and that's it. Step 2. Equate expressions. So, if y is equal to negative 2x, and if y is equal to 1 minus x divided by negative 2, this expression must be equal to this expression. Then I will equate both expressions. And for solving it, generally, we multiply all the equation by the least common multiple of denominators. But here, it is very simple. I can pass negative 2 to this side, and I will have negative 2 times negative 2x is equal to 1 minus x. Then negative times negative is positive. 4x is equal to 1 minus x. And after that, we will pass the negative x to the left side as a positive x. And then x plus 4x is 5x is equal to 1. Finally, x is equal to 1 over 5. Remember that when you are a number with the x, you pass the number to the denominator without changing the sign. Now, I have the answer for x, but I need also the answer for y. Then, I will put this solution in any of two original equations in order to find y. Step 3. Put in this, in this case, x into, for instance, the, the, the first equation. Then, instead of writing x, I will put 1 over 5. So, 2 times 1 over 5 plus y is equal to 0.
2 times 1 over 5. In order to do that, I can put a small one into the denominator in order to multiply numerator by numerator and denominator by denominator. So then I have 2 over 5 plus y is equal to 0. And very simple, y will be equal to, I pass the 2 over 5 to the other side as negative 2 over 5. And that's it. You can write the final answer as the set of, first of all, the x value and after that, the y value. And that's it. If you want to verify that it is correct, you replace the x, the y at the same time for both equations and you will see that both equations will be true expressions. Thank you very much, dear Phasmatic friends. See you next time.